Welcome back to another electrifying episode where we help you make smarter purchasing decisions, one shocking comparison at a time. Today, we're diving into the world of power supplies. Yes, you heard that right. Because what's more exhilarating than watching your computer get powered up? Spoiler alert, it's not just the CPU that gets the juice. On the left, we have the Corsair RM850X. Sounds fancy, doesn't it? And on the right, we have the Corsair RM850 from the 2021 series. It's like the RM850X is the cool kid in school, while the RM850 is just trying to blend in. Let's see which one of these bad boys will win the title of the Power Supply King. First up, let's talk money. The RM850X comes in at a price of $149, while the RM850 is slightly more budget-friendly at $139. Reviewers of the RM850X appreciate its good price for the performance it offers, while those who chose the RM850 commend it for being a great value, especially for first-time builders. It's like the RM850 is saying, hey, I'm just as good, let's skip the appetizers. Next up, we have modularity. Both power supplies are fully modular, allowing you to connect only the cables you need. This is perfect for those who prefer a clean look inside their PC. Reviewers of the RM850X praise its cable management capabilities while RM850 users also find it easy to install, although some mention that the stiff cables can be a bit of a challenge. So no matter which one you choose, your cable management skills will still be questionable, but at least you'll have an excuse. Now, let's talk about the fans. The RM850X sports a 135mm magnetic levitation fan, which reviewers say operates quietly and efficiently. On the other hand, the RM850 has a 140mm rifle bearing fan and features a 0rpm fan mode for silent operation during low load scenarios. Users of the RM850 appreciate the quiet operation and low noise levels, making it a solid choice for those who value silence. It's like the RM850 is saying, I don't need levitation, I've got good old-fashioned rifle bearings. Compatibility is next. The RM850X has the EPS-12V connector for wide compatibility with modern graphics cards and motherboards. Meanwhile, the RM850 boasts triple EPS-12V connectors, which reviewers have found beneficial for various builds. Users have expressed satisfaction with the RM850's ability to connect easily to multiple components, making it a reliable choice. It's like the RM850 is saying, why settle for one when you can have three? Now let's talk about the guts. The RM850X is loaded with 100% Japanese 105 degrees Celsius capacitors, which users note contribute to its premium feel and longevity. The RM850 also features industrial-grade 105 degrees Celsius-rated capacitors, ensuring solid performance. Reviewers of both products have highlighted their reliability, but the RM850X gets bonus points for being a little more premium. It's like the difference between a regular burger and a gourmet burger with truffle oil. Fancy, right? Last but not least, let's talk efficiency. The RM850X is 80 PLIUS Gold certified, which means it's super efficient and won't leave you feeling guilty about your electricity bill. Reviewers rave about its efficiency, especially when handling demanding systems. The RM850 also boasts solid efficiency, but lacks the fancy certification, 
with users affirming that it performs well without needing a medal to prove it. It's like the RM850 is saying, I'm doing great things, but I don't need a medal to prove it. In summary, the RM850X is praised for its premium features, quiet operation, and high efficiency, making it a favorite among PC enthusiasts. Meanwhile, the RM850 is lauded for its affordability, ease of installation, and reliable performance, especially for those new to PC building. Both power supplies receive positive feedback for their quality and reliability, catering to different budgets and needs. So there you have it, folks. The RM850X is the flashy, high-tech option with all the premium features, while the RM850 is the reliable workhorse that gets the job done without the frills. In the battle of power supplies, it really comes down to what you value more, extra features and a higher price tag or solid performance and a little extra cash in your pocket. Let us know in the comments which one you'd pick and why. And remember, whether you're spending big bucks or saving a few bucks, always buy smart. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our electrifying comparisons. Until next time, may your builds be tidy and your power supplies be plentiful.